The Death of Chance Locke His wife Rose says a ball of blue light with zigzags arrived in the room, the dog his dog, the one he named after Dorothy's yet another talcum white toy poodle, Toto. That dog barking at the light or the presence of death or both, though death is always present under white fluorescent lit walls, and doesn't seem to mind being the center of attention. Everyone in Florida at least dies warm, so he had that going for him. And a doting wife who hovered, twisting the ephemeral and mysterious into a shape at once recognizable. Even his first name was a grammar of expectation of unheralded good, the honed moment of unbearable happiness that waltzes in from nowhere or Pennsylvania, cocking a Panama hat and motioning for a chair to be moved closer. You know what I mean. Chance is all about what's not out of the question. No saint this chance had a reverence for light, the way it falls onto downturned orchid petals. He raised white dendrobium orchids in slatted wood boxes hung from the sides of date palms. The zigzags may have been a hesitating. Having a look at his boxed flowers or the wind denuded bougainvillea yet climbing one wall of his house. Then again, it may have been a ball of nothing. But according to Rose Locke, some of us pass from this life as if a vessel of sorts is emptying of a grand mystery. The blue and zigzagging fact of that display forcing eyes to open at least one truth given a context it lacked until that instant. I read that today on what would have been his 79th birthday. What do you say about a good man dying? Pfft. Ain't none too sad, I guess.